Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, Bay Brandon here. I got a review for you guys today on the unique skins for the iPod Touch second generation. Now, if you guys see here, it's my unique skins. Um, I added my own image to it, and a lot of people have been asking where I got this image. So I decided to upload it to my website, and you guys can get this um, under the tab uh, unique skins design, I believe. So go uh, link in the description to my website. It's obeybrandon.webs.com. You guys can save the image to your desktop and upload it and put on a skin. So here it is. A lot of people have been asking for it, uh, for this image. So you guys know where to get it now. So here it is, guys. I, this is like my third time using it. So real nice, guys. And this skin is only like $7.99. Real cheap, and it comes with the front and the back. Now, on the front, I don't have... I have uh, unique skins on the front, but it's not... The same as the Iron Man one. See Iron Man right there. Not the same as the Iron Man. This one is the Nike logo. It has some shoes on there. And this did uh, line up nicely. I have it on top of a Switch Easy screen protector, guys. I see the home button nicely, even. I see um, evenly black space around there. And it doesn't provide a cutout for the light sensor. Uh, kind of downside, but I don't think it affects my light sensor very much so that's that and you guys see I have a lot of fingerprints on the back of my iPod I have a couple scratches and that's from my microfiber which I'm not very happy with I kinda got upset guys when your microfiber gets old you guys start seeing it don't stop using it throw it away and go get yourself a new microfiber will save you guys scratches on your iPod save you a lot of scratches and make it look like brand new Let's give it a quick wipe down with another microfiber, and this is like a chamois, chamois, I don't know what to, what to call it, but it's like a chamois. So let's get down with the installation, guys. Here it is, you guys see it has perfect cutouts down there. So this is my second time using guys, I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, uh, in right here, but it has the X effect, and that X effect um, does um, let you reuse the skin, and etc. Reuse the skin, no bubbles, stuff like that, so... Here we go, let's install it. Not pretty good at installing stuff on camera, but let's give it a try. Make sure your hands are clean so no dust or dirt will get under the skin. So you guys want to line this perfectly, guys. I, I can't stress that enough. Perfectly. It's like nice and precise down to the centimeter. So there it is, guys. I'm going to make sure this is nice and even down here yeah I don't like it so let's give it another let's give it another try I don't know how I don't know how well micro is doing this skin but macro so you guys once again want to get this nice and even precise down to the squarest inch so let's give that a nice try another try and just smooth it down the center make sure it's even at the top so there it is it's right up to the home button guys exactly to the line of this home button and we're just gonna smooth down the sides with my thumb just roll my thumb over this corners and this case, uh, skin will lay down perfectly so there it is there are some creases in here, but these will go away soon. My bad, guys. Guess my iPod was on when I was installing this and accidentally hit the music button. So, I want to make sure everything is nice and even. So, there it is, guys. The unique skins adds a lot of uh, this personality to your iPod. You can upload any skin, you can upload a photo, I mean, uh, any photo. You can upload a f uh, picture of your best friend or your wife or etc uh, pit random pictures also to the front too you can do anything with it upload your own picture they all have they have like a studio there upload your picture you can move it around make it bigger make it smaller just send it to them and they'll print the skin out for you and you're all set so this skin is real cheap guys $7.99 amazed but it had some issues with this. The only thing I hate about it is it is a residue lever. It leaves a lot of residue. Now, I'm putting it back on because 
I cleaned the residue last time. It was pretty hard. I took the microfiber and some iClean and scrubbed all that residue out. But on the bright side, it looks nice, guys. You guys are probably wondering what skins uh, cases works with. So I don't have any much clear cases, but I have the shades case and I have um, a contour flick case. Not contour flick, but a contour showcase. So let's show you guys what it looks like with that to show you guys that it does fit with both of those cases. So let's get the contour showcase out out of here. But first let's get on with the shades cases. Now this is the clear shades case. Let me see if this fits in. Hopefully it will because I have tried it with uh, other skins. Let's just show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully we can get this out. Okay, there we go. And here's the shades case, guys. I'm going to slide this in here. I'm just going to place the booklet on top. Just for watermark reasons. Slide it in here. Once we get that in here, we're going to pull this top booklet out. And there you go, guys. That's how it looks like with the shades cases on. It looks nice, guys. I love this design. So if you guys are interested in the design, go check out my website and hopefully you'll find the design and you can use it on your unique skins. A lot of people have been asking me for it, so once again, uploaded it to the website. So check it out. There it is, guys. It's nice. So let's take it out. You guys know Shades Cases is a watermark case. So to remove it out of the Shades Cases, you want to put the booklet back in there, which will separate the um, case from the your um, iPod screen which will remove the watermarks as you can see here and which will allow you guys to remove the shades from your iPod touch and basically just press it and easier to remove and just pull it out so that's that and let's show you guys what it looks like with the showcase contour showcase we'll be coming up on this contour showcase soon so let's get this out of here yes I'm, I love the showcase guys let's take that out the showcase has a clear panels, so let's drop the iPod in here, close it, and lock it. And there you go, guys. That's what it looks like with the showcase, guys. Real nice. You can see the, all the full design in the front, too, guys. Nothing missing out on the back. Real nice, guys. I really like the unique skins, except that it does leave residue. Um, if you guys leave this on for like two weeks or more, it does leave residue, but it does protect the back of your um, your iPod from scratches so if you guys go like this your skin is getting scratched and not the iPod but the corner uh, the sides and the corners are fully exposed this skin does um, protect the back but not the corners of the sides so that's it guys protects the back from scuffing really like it except it does leave residue and it feels a little thin for my budget a little thin guys than the other skins like jelly skins or music skins it is a little thinner than the other skins but it does work with all those cases, guys. So, I'm signing out. Oh, baby, Brandon, signing out. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.